All right, other American leaders, such as Ronald Reagan and Hillary Clinton, attempted to fix America's relationship with Russia and be friendly at first. However, Trump's approach to Vladimir Putin has been met with very harsh criticism from Democrats, Republicans, even some of the president's most loyal defenders. Luke Coffey is director of the Foreign Policy Center at the Heritage Foundation. He joins us now to react. Luke, what did you make of yesterday? Good morning. Well, uh, I thought it was a very disappointing uh, meeting with, uh, between President Trump and President Putin. I felt like President Trump missed a golden opportunity to really hold President Putin uh, account on the international stage. And it was very unfortunate that uh, big issues uh, pressing Russia on, like uh, their invasion of Crimea, um, the fact that today marks the fourth anniversary of the shooting down of MH17, the Malaysian Airlines airliner over Ukraine, where 298 people mm. were killed, or the fact that just a few weeks ago a British citizen was killed in England um, because of Russian nerve agents. So I, I was disappointed by the summit. You know, a lot of people are trying to analyze exactly what happened, and Ben Shapiro actually did a great write-up that I, actually, I tweeted out uh, because I thought it was so good. But the president hates the meddling story. He obviously hates the collusion story a lot, but he also hates the meddling story because it casts a doubt on his ability to win that election. It basically says, hey, President Trump probably couldn't have gotten this done without Russia helping him. I think that's the reason why he is so hesitant to even believe our own intelligence, because it marginalizes him as a politician. Do you agree? Well, that's unfortunate for him, but I mean, the facts are the facts, and all uh, 17 yeah. U.S. intelligence agencies say that Russia um, was meddling to some extent in the election. Um, whether or not, uh, you know, of course, no one's saying that votes were changed or anything like that, but of course Russia was getting involved in our electoral process. They do this in Europe. They've done this for years. This is what they do. And I think President Trump should have really held President Putin to uh, account on this issue and other issues in, in a more meaningful way. Uh, we don't know what was discussed behind closed doors, but certainly at the press conference, you didn't see the same um, President Trump that comes out fighting for America like we saw during the NATO summit or like we saw in the UK. We saw a completely different uh, President Trump st standing next to President Putin. Now, obviously, yesterday is fresh in everybody's minds, but can you just talk a little bit about in general, how President Trump is being tough on Russia. I know it's well, hard to, is, to backtrack a little bit from yesterday, but, but in general, how tough is he being compared to past presidents? Well, this is one of the puzzling uh, aspects of yesterday and President Trump's poor performance. Uh, up to this point, he's probably been the toughest president since Ronald Reagan against Russia. He's done things that President Obama refused to do, like providing advanced weapons, anti-tank yeah. and anti-aircraft weapons to the Georgians and to the Ukrainians. Even with his legitimate complaining about Europeans not spending enough on defense, the, the pot of money that the U.S. allocates to European defense spending is called European Deterrence Initiative, EDI. President Trump actually increased the funding for that by 40% from the Obama administration. Uh, not to mention all the diplomats that have been expelled, all the oligarchs that, who have been sanctioned. That's why yesterday was so puzzling. He went into that meeting with uh, President Putin with a very strong hand to play, and uh, he didn't yeah. play very well. I think he just hates that meddling narrative. Like I said, marginalizes him because he was tough with Germany in the pipeline. He's making NATO stronger. He's arming Ukraine. He's doing things yeah. that aren't pro-Russia. That's for sure. Thank you so much, Luke, for your time. Thank you. It is 18 minutes after the hour. A 